Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a video here to one, welcome all the new subscribers, I really appreciate it, and two, talk about some differences here on a Core XY printer versus a Delta printer, and why you may want to build a Delta over a Core XY. Also at the end of this video, I'll discuss a Patreon a little bit and how you can support me if you so choose. So let's talk about here the Core XY that I'm building. This is a Core XY that I had designed. You can see a couple videos on my channel about it. It's uh, getting ready here to be finished off. I'll probably, like I say, make a video on uh, routing belts and then probably a final wrap up video on this printer. I'm just waiting for an SKR Mini and then it's gonna be ready to print here. So you can see this Core XY has a lot of parts. There's so many printed parts so many extra components um, to make this printer. And that's a little bit of a disadvantage to Core XY is just the parts count and the complexity of the printer. These do print very well and they do make excellent printers for sure. But in comp comparison, look at how many parts there are in a Delta printer. Very, very few parts. These are such a simple printer and they print just as good as a Core XY, if not better in a lot of cases. Deltas can be very fast. The bed does not move. So there's no Z wobble. You don't have to worry about lead screws, nothing like that. Bowden deltas can be, the head can be very light. This effector weighs almost nothing. Super, super lightweight, can print very, very quickly. I have leveled the bed once in 170 hours and I've never leveled it again. There, there, there's no need for auto level on this printer. There's no bed mesh, there's nothing. And I've printed parts uh, th almost the full size of this build platform. It just works. It's um, honestly Delta's this is one of the reasons why they're my favorite style of printer and why I'm most likely going to build more of these going forward. Just due to their simplicity, how versatile these printers are, and you can build these printers very inexpensive. I mean, the most expensive part is getting yourself a good set of arms like these Hayden Huntley Magball arms. Otherwise, I mean, you can put a cheap $20 E3D uh, V6 clone on here some cheap fans, an SKR mini mainboard and a Raspberry Pi and a couple cheap motors and some extrusions and like you have a printer. These linear rails here are just linear rails off of AliExpress. And I have a massive printer here. This printer is about 340 X and Y by 480 Z. A massive printer. You'd have to spend well over fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars maybe to get a printer, a Core XY printer that big. You have to remember as well, Core XY, generally when you build those, you want a big, thick, heavy aluminum plate, and you need all of like linear rails, bearings, uh, more aluminum extrusions are involved, so many more 3D printed parts, whether it's ABS, PLA printed parts. Just the complexity of it is so, so great versus this. This is just a glass bed off AliExpress um, and it prints beautifully. I, I've i yet to heat the bed or do anything yet with it. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, I do plan on upgrading this printer to be able to print um, different materials, but I'm gonna be actually putting a energetic um, PEI heated bed on here with a Canovo heater, probably 110 mains heater. So um, pretty soon here I'm actually going to be flipping this printer upside down um, so that my thick kind of build part here so I have much more room for electronics is going to be at the top and I can actually run this cable here in the middle of the printer. It's going to clean up all this wiring um, I'm planning on moving the spool holder up to, up on top of here so the spool can run directly down. Um, just clean this printer up and basically tweak a lot of little things. Um, my end stops, the wiring is going to be super short because the Raspberry Pi and SKR Mini are going to be up here. 
So yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that are coming to this printer. So yeah, that's a quick overview on Delta and Core XY. Like I say again, they're both great printers and some people may want the challenge of building a Core XY. I mean, they print beautifully as well, but if you're new to printers or you want something a little bit simpler and maybe a little bit more inexpensive, bang for your buck, a Delta is the way to go for sure. Okay, and then one last thing is I now have Patreon. So there's two tiers right now. The first tier is just basic, very inexpensive. It's $3 Canadian a month. Uh, it just supports me. Definitely don't have to support me at all. It just helps the channel. I can start putting money, more money into the channel, building printers. I mean, if there's people who want me to see, want to see me build Voron printers, those are super popular right now. Um, if you want me to continue building different scenario or different types of this Delta, um, like right now, this only supports a Fetus Dragon hot end. It does not support groove mount hot ends or anything like that. Um, I'm just running a Bontech LGX here. So if you want to see more things like that, feel free to definitely support me on Patreon. As well as there is a tier 2 on Patreon, which gives you basically STLs for any printers that I design. And you will get support on these printers as well. So I will have all the STLs available for this Core XY printer as well as for my Phoenix Delta printer here. And uh, again, the 3D printed parts for this will generally scale up to whatever size you want to build. The only STL parts I don't really have available to publish is any holders for the Raspberry Pi and the SKR Mini. I just have those sitting on the table right now. I haven't designed those yet, so you're kind of on your own a little bit for those, but you'll of course get all my designed uh, AB carriages, my effector again, designed for a Fetus hot end. You'll get um, any sort of uh, end stop mounts there as well. Um, I also do have corners. You can just print these out. You don't have to buy aluminum corners or you can buy aluminum corners if you want. Please check out my other Delta videos. Um, my playlist on building a mini Delta will tell you, kind of explain the differences. There are definitely differences between purchased corners and 3D printed ones being on what hard hardware you need and such. But so yeah, you can 3D print these corners and that's kind of what I would recommend doing. You save yourself a bunch of money that way. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of it for this video guys. Again, to wrap up, I have a Patreon now. It'll be in the description below. You can definitely support me through that way if you so choose and if you want the STLs for these printers you can definitely uh, get tier 2 Patreon and uh, you'll actually have a post where you can download the zip file for the STLs. All right as always please like share subscribe and thanks again everyone.